Understanding Miss Congeniality, a guide to English idioms. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're going to dive into a fascinating phrase, Miss Congeniality. This idiom is not just a title. It's packed with cultural and social nuances. So, let's explore what it really means and how you can use it in everyday English. Miss Congeniality originally comes from beauty pageants. In these contests, apart from the main winner, there is often a special title awarded to the contestant who is the most likable, friendly, and gracious. This person is titled Miss Congeniality. It's important to note that this title reflects personality and behavior, rather than physical appearance. In modern English, the phrase has extended beyond the pageant world. Now, Miss Congeniality is used more broadly to refer to anyone, regardless of gender, who is exceptionally pleasant, friendly, and easy to get along with. For example, in a workplace, a person might be jokingly called Miss Congeniality if they are always helpful and kind to everyone. Understanding the cultural context is crucial. This phrase is often used lightly or humorously. It's a compliment, but it can sometimes be used sarcastically if someone is being unusually nice or if their kindness seems insincere. Additionally, the term is deeply rooted in American culture due to its origin and beauty pageants popular in the United States. Let's see how to use it in sentences. Even though she didn't win the competition, she was voted Miss Congeniality by her peers. John is like the office's Miss Congeniality. He's always ready to lend a hand. You're being such a Miss Congeniality today. What's the special occasion? I hope this video has helped you understand the phrase, Miss Congeniality. It's a great example of how language evolves and adopts new meanings from its cultural origins. Keep practicing. And don't hesitate to use this phrase when you meet someone exceptionally nice. See you in the next video.